Okay, for our questions regarding our topic in instrumentation. So first, we have which of following is not a basic type of meter movement? Uh, of course, uh, we know the types of meter movement. We have electrodynamometer, the Arson valve, and iron vein. Of course, the odd one out is the ferromagnetic. It is, it's not a type of meter movement. Next, we have another name of PMMC instrument. So PMMC stands for Permanent Magnet Moving Coil. And it is also called as the Arsenal Meter Movement. Next, find the voltage drop developed across the Arsenal Meter Movement having an internal resistance of 1 kilo ohm and full deflection current of 150 microamperes. So, it's as easy as uh, Ohm's law. Okay, so if we are asked to find the voltage, we just need to multiply the resistance and the current. So 1 kilo ohms times 150 microamperes will be letter D, 150 millivolts. Next, it consists of permanent magnet moving coil and spring and the deflection of the pointer depends upon the interaction of the magnetic fields of the current carrying coil and the permanent magnet so the name itself so it speaks for the right answer which is what we call the the Arsenal meter movement so we are using the keywords permanent magnet moving coil spring next we have an instrument used to measure the voltage generated by human body parts in relation to the action of the human heart so take note human heart so to take note what should it be it is letter a ecg so ecg is what we call the electrocardiogram so it's the instrument that we can see in movies wherein if there is no heartbeat it will be a straight line and then we will hear the toot and it's over okay <laughs> so next we have type of power line frequency meter device utilizing a principle of balancing an indicator needle at center of a scale using magnetic fields resistive and inductive opposing each other so Keywords satin. We have a frequency meter device. So, what is this? Okay, magnetic fields. So, we can see magnetic fields here. I think we can choose the letter A, the magnetic type. So, that's correct. Next, it's composed of move. move of a moving coil which is free to rotate in a reaction in reaction the magnetic field generated by passing currents through two stationary field coils so that's the keyword that we're looking for the two stationary field coils and what is the correct answer of course the correct answer is letter B electrodynamometer next electrodynamometer can be used to measure okay of course, it can be used to measure both AC and DC. An electrodynamic meter used to measure power. So take note, power. Oh, keyword, power, therefore it is what we call the watt meter. So how do you measure the current in a circuit without an ammeter? So how? How can you measure the current without ammeter? Mm -hmm. So we all know um, when we are measuring current, the ammeter should be connected in a series configuration. Okay, so how can we measure current in a circuit without an ammeter? So the correct answer is 
letter D. Measure the voltage across a known resistor. So, how can it be? Because if we know the voltage across a known resistor, we can easily find the current. And the current for a known resistor is also the current for any part of the circuit. Because as we, as we know, uh, the current in a series circuit is equal. Next. The ideal internal resistance of an ammeter should be Okay, it should be zero. So take note. It should be ideally zero or practically it should be very small. How do you design the recurrent ammeter such that it could read high current values? So how can we increase the range of the ammeter? Of course, we employ shunt resistor across. Next, a measuring device or a meter made so the pointer rests at the center of its scale zero current. So, what do you call the measuring device? So that the pointer rests at the center with scale zero current. We call that galvanometer. So, galvanometer is a, a device to measure a very small amount of current. Which the following ammeter is the most sensitive? So when we're talking about sensitivity, sensitivity is the uh, reciprocal of full-scale current deflection. So meaning, if we want to have uh, the most sensitive, the highest sensitivity, we will choose the uh, least amount of current. So among the choices, we can choose um, letter B as the one I, I, I mean letter letter C as the one with the least amount of current next it is a reciprocal of full scale current of a meter as I have said earlier it is called sensitivity So calculate the sensitivity of a voltmeter with a full scale deflection of 100 microamperes. You just need to uh, reciprocal to find the reciprocal of 100 microamperes, and that is letter 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 A, 10 kilo ohms per volt. Next, for the greatest accuracy, what should be the input impedance of a voltmeter? Okay, so. What should be the input impedance of a volt or milliameter? It should be as large as possible. Okay, next. What is a VOM? So as I have said, it is a combination of uh, ohmmeter, milliameter, and voltmeter. Excuse me for that vehicle next we have an ideal voltmeter should have blank resistance it should have infinite resistance calculate the shunt resistance needed to increase the full scale deflection of an ammeter five times if the meter resistance is one kilo ohm so here we have a formula so let's recall the formula, the multiplier. Multiplier is equal to 1 plus uh, 1 plus the meter resistance. Okay. All over the shunt resistance. Okay. So if we substitute the given, we have 1 plus 1 kilo ohm all over um, the given here the choices is equal to 5 we have 5 is equal to 1 plus uh, 1 kilo ohm bear with me all over RSH 
So upon finding the value of RSH, we can get letter, I think that's letter A, 250 ohms. And that's right. Next, calculate the series resistance needed to increase the range of a voltmeter five times if the meter resistance is one kilo ohms. So this time we are asked about the series resistance for a voltmeter if we want to increase its range. So just introduce the formula again and we know what to do after. So multiplier in our voltmeter is one plus this time that's 1 plus R what's that? RS all over RM where RS is what we call the series resistance and with that substitute 5 in M then we have uh, RS is the is what is asked and we have RM which is 1 kilo ohm so the correct answer is 4 kilo ohms. Okay, now next. The ammeter is connected blank with the component whose current is to be measured directly. Of course, we know that it should be in series. Okay, next. The voltmeter is connected blank with the component whose voltage is to be measured directly. Of course, we know that it should be in parallel. A device that is used to measure current without opening the circuit, we call that the clamp probe or we, we call that the clamp ammeter. So it looks like this. Next, which type of meter requires its own power source? So as I have said, requires its own power source, we have the ohmmeter. It, it needs battery to function. How does an ohmmeter behave if its positive lead is connected to the cathode of a diode while well, negative to anode? So as we can see, cathode is connected to the positive and anode to the negative but we call that what do we call that kind of biasing we call that the reverse bias okay so if we have a reverse bias diode what should we expect in the resistance we, we expect a very high or an infinite resistance okay next what is normal indication on, on a mega or the mega ohmmeter when checking insulation so mega ohmmeter is used for checking very high resistance so for checking insulation we know that insulation is a very high resistance therefore we can say that for a mega ohmmeter should have a reading of oh, approaching infinity okay or a very high resistance as I have said <laughs> A bridge used to locate accidental grounds on communications and power lines. So we have discussed it. We call this the Murray loop. A bridge used to measure small resistances. Again, for small resistances, we are using Kelvin bridge. So which stone bridge is for uh, resistances? And Kelvin bridge is uh, modified with stone bridge for small resistances. An AC bridge that measures capacitance and dissipation factor. Okay, capacitance. We call that shearing bridge. AC bridge that measures mutual inductance. So take note, the keyword here is mutual inductance. When okay, we call that bridge the heavy side bridge it is a large scale voltmeter which employs a vacuum tube triode as one of its component so what is this uh, device we call that 
VTVM. So is what is that, sir? Va uh, vacuum tube voltmeter. So we can find the clue in the question. Measures and records brain waves employing instrumentation amplifier. So talking about brain waves. So will be the correct answer is the electroencephalogram or we call that the EEG so for the heart it's ECG for the brain it's EEG what type of tube, tube is used to display signals on an oscilloscope so we call that the CRT or the cathode ray tube which is not part of a cathode ray tube oscilloscope so among the choices, um, of course, we know that uh, oscilloscope is analog. That's why I think the correct answer here is not part. We have the digital panel meter. Next, what kind of voltage is applied to the horizontal deflection plates of the oscilloscope? So take note, uh, horizontal, that's a keyword, horizontal, if it's horizontal, the correct answer is sweep voltage. So letter D. Next. Type of waveform generated by the sweep generator of the CRT. So take note. Uh, it should be sweep generator, should be sawtooth waveform. What do you call a piece of equipment in an oscilloscope in a digital logic circuit? So we call that the logic probe. Next, what test instrument will you use to make a modulated envelope visible? So how can we see the uh, modulated envelope? Of course, that's an analog signal, and if that's an analog signal, we can see it using our oscilloscope. What is an electronic instrument capable of showing on screen and maybe on print relative spacing of transmitter carriers, tertiary bands, and harmonics? So this is frequency spectrum. That's therefore we can use spectrum analyzer. What is the degree of exactness of measurement when compared to the expected value of the variable being measured? So, exactness. When we say exactness, we call that accuracy. Precision is the closeness of the values measured or the repeatability. A blank is a device that can test all pins of an IC at the same time. We call that all pins at the same time we call that logic clip errors in analog meter reading due to your physical position with respect to the meter scale and we call that as I have said earlier we call that a parallax error instrument having recognized permanent or stable value that is used as reference so those are called the standard instruments. The smallest change in measured variable to which an instrument will respond. Smallest change is letter B, resolution. What is the most common type of meter movement? Of course. That's letter C, the Arsenal meter movement. Or we call that a PMMC. What ammeters mostly used in measuring high frequency currents? Okay, high frequency is the keyword. So therefore, the answer is thermocouple. It's a device that mechanically measures the output power of a motor. Take note, output power of a motor definitely the answer is dynamometer 
error in voltmeter reading is due to letter A, loading effect error. Error in ohmmeter reading is due to, again, we have battery aging. So the zero adjust control in an analog type ohmmeter is used to. So what is the problem in an ohmmeter? The problem, the, the most of the problem is due to the battery aging. So the zero adjust control is used to compensate for the differing internal battery voltage. With no added gadget, the ison voltmeter can be used to measure. So if there is no uh, rectifier, so the ison voltmeter can only use to measure DC. Type of power line frequency meter composed of vibrating ion reeds placed in alternating magnetic field. Keyword, vibrating ion reeds. So what is the answer? We have vibrating reed type. An iron vein is used to measure letter B, direct current only. Instrumentation amplifier employs how many op amps? Take note of this. How many op amps? We have three op amps for instrumentation amplifiers. Next, we have it consists of a diode and an op amp and has the ability to clip low level signals. So we call this instrument the precision diode. Next, an electronic measuring device that provides instantaneous visual indication of voltage excursions. So, instantaneous uh, visual indication. This is analog. So, therefore, it is oscilloscope. What's the purpose of the rear stat in ohmmeter? So, again, ohmmeter. The problem is the battery aging. So, it is used to compensate aging battery of the ohmmeter. In indicating instruments, what would happen to the controlling torque if the deflection becomes greater? So what will happen to the torque if the deflection becomes greater? It becomes higher or it increases. So again, the controlling torque is the one which opposes the uh, deflection. Therefore, it will increase if the deflection becomes greater to balance. In a moving coil ammeter, a blank is connected in series with the coil to compensate for the temperature variations. So, ammeter, again, ammeter, what should we uh, connect? We use swamping resistor. So, take note. What's the difference between... Uh, the shunt resistor in the swamping resistor so swamping resistor is used to compensate for temperature variations so take note that the, uh, another difference it is connected in series while shunt resistor is connected in parallel so we cannot choose uh, shunt resistor as the correct answer it's a property of spectrum analyzer whereby it simultaneously displays the amplitude of all the signals in the frequency range so we call that uh, simultaneously displays so we have real time what is the distortion that is caused by a nonlinear operation of an amplifier so nonlinear operation is what we call the harmonic distortion This device extends the range of potentiometer very easily and conveniently. We call this the volt box. The null detector of Wheatstone Bridge that indicates balance, we call this the galvanometer. 
It is a precision voltage divider network, sometimes called a resistance ladder, used in conjunction with a potentiometer. Again, we call this the volt box. What do you call the condition of a bridge that indicates zero current flowing through the detector? Oh, if, the, if the current is zero in the galvanometer, we call this balance condition. A term used to indicate that no current is flowing through a galvanometer. As we have said er earlier, hence the pointer is resting at center scale zero, meaning the bridge is balanced. Call that the null indication. Then we have which of following will apply to a moving coil instrument. So take note of these questions. These have been already in, uh, included in the board exam, previous board exams. So apply to a moving coil instrument. The correct answer is you can measure even scale, uh, even scale measuring DC. So only DC if moving coil instrument, meaning this is PMMC. While moving coil rectifier instrument, there is already a rectifier. So it is an even scale measuring AC. While applied to a moving iron instrument, take note, it should be an even scale measuring AC and DC and I think that's the last question okay that's it so thank you for listening again I'm Injun Denver Magtibay God bless everyone goodbye